You asked for it, you got it. Cover four from the Denver Broncos playbook. We're going to talk to you about the coverage, how to beat it, what it looks like, and what it means from a quarterback's perspective. Coming up right now. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Elite Athletes TV. I'm Mike Pulaski, former 11-year pro quarterback. Today, we're talking about cover four. We had a viewer question, had several of them, actually, that asked, if I could diagram and talk about cover four, how to beat it as a quarterback. So that's what we're going to do. If you like football X's and O's, if you love talking about the game, make sure you subscribe, ring that bell. That way you get notified whenever we have new content coming out. Give me a thumbs up, hit that like button down below, and make sure you leave me a comment. Any questions, just like we're talking about today, the viewer comments, if I can answer them for you, I'm happy to do it here on video. Now, let's get into cover four. Basically, like all other coverages, if you haven't seen it, I've done different videos on different coverages. We got cover one right there. We'll go right through the list. Cover two will pop up right behind it. Cover three will also be there. And now we're talking about cover four. We've done a cover six as well. But cover four, just like it sounds, is four men deep. Coverages are described by how many guys you have deep until you kind of break that rule in different things. So with cover four, how do you get four guys deep? Well, both corners, both safeties, both playing deep quarters, or all four playing deep quarters. Well, what does that mean? It means that you have four deep and three under. Why do teams play it? Well, they want to guard against that four vertical attack, right? If you have a single high safety, single safety, middle field closed, then you're going to be able to attack that middle. If you have two high safeties, then you're going to be able to take the center of the field. So you either have two vertical lanes against cover three, or you have a single vertical lane or the whole shot's on the side versus cover two. Cover four, takes that away. So teams oftentimes play cover four in long distance situation or on first down, and then they use those safeties as overhang players to rotate down and get into run fits to try to get into the run game, give them that extra half man in the box. We're going to take a look at it from the Denver Broncos playbook 2017, and we're going to diagram it, show you what, how they show it, show you a couple different variations, and then I've got a couple film clips of it coming up right now. So here we go. Super simple. Just like I talked about, cover four is one, two, three, four guys deep. All of them playing, as you can see, quarters. Now, that sounds kind of simple, and it is really kind of simple, but there's different rules within cover four. For instance, if you're going, let's take this halfback out of here, and let's call it a two-by-two two set here. If the number two gets vertical, just like in cover six, and different teams have different depths of this, but anywhere past eight to 10 yards, then this becomes man coverage. That safety is going to lock on and play man on that vertical route. The reason you have to do that is because you have to cover up these corners. Corners are going to read any flat. So if you were to get a flat, by your outside receiver or a hitch, something where he sits down, those corners are generally going to settle on that. The other reason that you do it when people run vertical is you have to protect the other safety. If, for instance, you were to run, let's put that H back here, a corner route, he clears out and he hangs on that, and you run a post from the backside, now you're exposing that safety. And so this guy has to lock on, or what they call cut, the route that comes across the field in cover four. So now as you see it here, three underneath, Will, Mike, Sam. So you have a lot of open areas to throw the football as a quarterback. If a team has really good corners, they can soft play you or slow play you on the deep ball if you push them vertical and react up and help out on that corner, rally up the tackle. But generally speaking, if you can threaten that corner vertically, then out routes or pivots should be good versus cover four, right? Because you have an outside backer trying to run to cover that flat. So if you're throwing on timing, which is a five hit and throw, you should be able to beat that corner and you should be able to keep that outside linebacker from getting out there. You're also susceptible in this defense to two on ones on the inside. So if we put that H back here, because you have a single hook player inside. So if you were to run hitches across, now you've spread three underneath across, and hitches are super simple because you have all that open space underneath. 
Now let's take a look at a couple different variations. You can see down here for press, they're going to try to give you a cover two look and they'll press on the inside to try to disrupt timing. And then they will bail and play their quarter from that press look. Susceptible to go routes, the safety will have to help on that as well. But if you run vertical at that safety, you also hold them with those vertical routes. So if you've got a fast guy on the outside, they want to play four press, you can beat them with that go ball. But what they're hoping is that they can get you to, to check out or get off that outside route thinking, oh, it's cover two, my flats aren't there, I can't throw outs, I can't throw curls. So, But if they're going to press bail, outs are still there, curls are still there, pivots are still there. Then 44, that's super simple. Anytime you get that double digit now, you have dime or nickel in the game. So those are dime, uh, dime Sam and dime Will, which makes this a 44. Same exact rules as cover four. These guys are in the flat and four across the back here. And then for man, what that means is linebackers are inside locked up man on your inside player. So your, sa your Sam is playing man on the Y or tight end in this case. Mike's got your fullback. Will's got your H back or half back. And so that could switch depending on where those players are. But your backers are manned up. And so that leaves a four shell with these three covering underneath. And so tough coverage to throw vertically into really becomes kind of a bracket out there with zone on top of it. 44 palms, which means anytime you hear that palms call, those corners are going to read number two. So if number two goes to the flat right now, he's going to react down and settle and play it like cover two, pick up that flat, and he's going to leave number one to the safeties. So that when you hear palms, that's what they mean by that palms call. And then, of course, the saber here, you see they're going to rotate over. So Sam Strong safety blitz, free safety rotating over, trying to catch you in a cover four look with hot throw. So if you get that hot throw here, you're in trouble because the corner is going to roll up to it. If you get the hot throw vertical, this free safety is coming across looking to look that up. So that's cover four. And I told you I'd talk to you about how you beat it. Obviously, the flats are susceptible in cover four, just like cover two. In behind the backers is susceptible, so high-low on the backers also susceptible. But there's one route in particular that teams use all the time to beat cover four, and it's a high-low on the safety. You're using the advantage where that safety has to lock on and play man, and you're getting him to play while the corners still have that outside leverage. And I'll draw it up for you real quick here on the coverage page. So what am I talking about? Well, oftentimes teams even call this cover four beater. And again, we're going to take that half back out. We're going to go two by two, and you can do it either side but remember i said when you get vertical that safety locks on and so when he locks on if you run a 12 yard curl or a 10 yard curl or a 10 yard dig that means that that safety is going to settle his feet you come outside and run a bang eight or a post over the top of it and now you get on top of that safety you can throw the big post you have to do something out on the other side to occupy that safety as well. Smash concept is as good as anything. And if you really want to attack cover four and go after that deep ball and you know your opponent's playing cover four, then settling that safety with a hook or a curl or a dig and throwing that post over the top is a great way to beat it. Now we've looked at cover four on paper. We've talked about how to beat it. Let's take a look at it on film. So here we are, video Cal UCLA, uh, video courtesy of Cal Football. And you can see very easily here as a quarterback, you walk up, you see this look, very simple cover four you can see the umbrella across the top right it's not like cover zero where they'd be picket fence guys across the field you've got the umbrella across the top backers spaced right they are bumped because cal is on the right hash here so they are bumped but you have could be sam could be will because that's a tight end but you've got another outside backer or nickel player outside and then mike right there in the middle four guys down three underneath, four in their quarters. So simple, easy to read. And you can see as we roll it, corners are going to back out, play off, and everybody's getting depth. Super simple. As a quarterback, my flats are there. Cal's getting vertical with that tight end, so safety's high, he's got to honor. Vertical with number two, safety's high, he's got to honor. And you can see 
Both their heads are keying those inside guys. Flats are wide open. A great place to go with the ball if you throw on time. They get one to the outside. A better ball would have been nice. But they pick up five yards and stay ahead of schedule in terms of moving the sticks. Let's take one more look. So Cal in a little hurry up here. You can see Oregon State, a little bit frantic. Stand-up guys on the end, playing that 2-5 defense that they love in the Pac-12 now. Two guys down, two stand-up backers, three backers back here. But you can see in the secondary, once again, that cover four look. Cal is going two by two on the outside single back. And communicating, corner communicating right here. What he And I'll show you in the film in just a second, but he's calling watch the switch because you can see this safety eyeing that outside receiver. So other than that, same rules apply here. If these guys get vertical, safeties have to pick them up. If they do switch, then the safety will pick up that inside coming vertical and the corner will pick up whatever's coming to him on the outside. If they run something quick to the outside especially number two, you're going to see the corner jump that as well. So let's take a look at this one time. Boom, quick out by the inside guy, corner jumps it. And once again, they get five yards in that flat. So as you can see, cover four, nothing complex about it, but you don't want to force the ball into coverage. You don't want to throw those deep verticals. You don't want to do those kind of things unless you're accounting for those safeties and using their technique against them. Be aware of that corner jumping number two into the flat and be aware of teams disguising four or disguising two with four or mixing those two different coverages up because that's what they'll do. And once again, they love to use it as a run helping coverage because those safeties can rotate down on each side. If you like what I did here today, make sure you subscribe, ring that bell. That way you get notified when you have new stuff coming out. Please leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions, just like our viewers today wanted to know about Cover 4, I'm happy to answer them. And give us a thumbs up. Hit that like button down below. Let us know that you like what we are doing here. If you made it all the way to the end, give yourself a thumbs up because that is absolutely awesome. You're one of the very few percent that do here on YouTube. I just wanted to help you improve your quarterback skills with a little quarterback training on Cover 4.